guys, Dog Daddy here, and today I have a new client with a new Doberman from Hell. This is a seven month old Doberman Pincher, a female, first training session, and I'm told I cannot touch this dog. She has been working with another trainer for six weeks, and even that trainer can still not touch this dog, physically touch her at all, to be able to work with her aggression and fear towards other people. So I am here today to see if I can finally help this struggling owner with her dog. She found me on YouTube via the last Doberman that I was training and uh, she decided to give me a try. So let's hope that I don't disappoint. My name is Evelyn Perdomo and I have a seven month old Doberman Fincher female that she is really aggressive towards people, lounges at people and she bites, she nips on me a lot. I've had her since she was eight weeks old and I recently took her to training for about six weeks but the training didn't work, the trainer didn't want to get close to her because she was overly aggressive towards people so and that's why I came here to see if you guys can help me out. I found a dog daddy online on YouTube and um, I just want him to help me with, uh, with her. I think the dog daddy will definitely be able to help me. So it's a mixture of um, her trying to play. I can tell that she's very confused. So what I see here is that she, she's trying to play, but she also has an insecure side of her. And that could be from where she came from. It could be her personality. Like usually, maybe she wasn't really well socialized when she was like very young. Um, you know, the bloodlines they come from, there's a lot of things that, that come into play. And what I see is that like she is young, so she's trying to play. But at the same time, she doesn't know how to go through with it. So like, you know, she comes towards me and then when I see her, she gets to where she's confused if I approach her. <coughs> but even then, it's like, it's a, it's not really an aggress ag aggressive thing. Like, so the problem is as they mature, this can become a more serious problem. So you can go ahead and uh, remove her e-collar because we we're not going to use it soon. Okay. <coughs> when she comes down, I'll remove it. So see, that's not how we do it. Let me show you how to get her to come down here. Let me just show you. You can pass the leash to me. So see, like, the reason she's going out there is because she, she lived in confusion and it had been letting her get away with it. So she, really, she learned that she had that of doing this instead of actually listening. Now. Come. Come. Good. 
come? No. Shh. Come. She started to think about it, so that's good. Yeah. Come.
it is of course the first time but the, as she realizes that she's not gonna get away with trying to fit like this she's gonna just stop that they need that type of leadership in order for them to feel comfortable. I mean, I, you know, this is like completely opposite from what she was. And a lot of times people, you know, they'll have that idea that if you can back them and have with them, your dog is not going to love you, they're going to be afraid of you, and you're going to make them more aggressive, you know, because people don't understand this. That, that was really going to be seen with them, you know, be seen in this type of trust. It's only been like a little over an hour of actually handling it. Give them commands. <laughs> Clearly. Good girl. So she 
doesn't, she cannot even get close enough to me. Good girl. You needed that, huh? You needed someone to give you direction. You needed someone to give you direction. I think the dog daddy's methods were great and son. Right away he came to my dog, approached her and grabbed her and right away started to get her more comfortable with him, uh, socializing her. It was it's the best thing that ever happened to my dog. Just watching him how to handle her and um, and how to pull her, I think it's it's gonna be great for me to teach her how to walk in the street, putting the muscle on her. It, it was a great training experience. The dog daddy taught, taught me that um, the, the insecurities of my dog, just teaching her, teaching her how to be more secure in her commands. Now she's more alert when I call her, when she sits down, she listens to me more. I thank the dog daddy for his time, that he really helped me out with my dog. It it's really has helped me out. It's the best thing has happened to me. All right, guys, we're here at the end of a successful, another successful training session. Um, as you can see, the owner is very happy and the dog is very happy. You see major progress in one training session. Now, I am going to put all the scenes that happen for like real life expectations. Of Either you're going to ignore the behavior and let it escalate into something a lot more severe, or you're going to do the proper training, put them through the fear and through whatever they are going through in order to help them. Uh, as you can hear directly from the owner, and you can see for yourself, we get results. and. She has been going to other trainers. There has been no results. So we don't want that problem to escalate into something much bigger and worse. So the training you see is based for that particular dog's need. And uh, I want to be able to provide results. And that's what we got today. Now, go control your dog. And I'll see you guys in the next video.